The industrial scale factory production of balls began around 1900. That time saw the establishment of the first industrial ball manufacturers, among them Friedrich Fischer. In 1896, he founded a company called Erste Automatische Gussstahlkugelfabrik, which translates as First Automated Cast Steel Ball Factory. A couple of years later, it was renamed FAG Kugelfischer. Thanks to the ball grinding machine, patented 125 years ago, it had become possible to manufacture steel balls of consistent size. Incidentally, the machine's operating principle is being used in ball bearing manufacture today. Millions of steel balls now leave, for example, the Scheffler plant in Homburg, Saarland, and the production of supplier Umbra in Eltmann, Franconia, day after day. All these balls have to meet the highest demands. Roundness tolerances are permissible only in the tenth of a micron range. In comparison, a fine human hair is about 30 microns thick. So how are such high precision balls made? Let's take a quick look at the production facilities. In Hamburg, a team of experienced Schaeffler staff manufactures small steel balls, while Eltmann specializes in balls with larger diameters. The rolling elements are destined for use in wheel bearings, transmission bearings and water pump bearings, for example, and for engine components too. Before a ball can leave the factory, it has to pass through seven stages. Wire cutting, pressing, flashing, hardening, grinding, rough lapping and finish lapping. The story of a ball starts either in the forging shop or, as in this case, with wire coils that are delivered to the Hamburg plant. The wire is cut into sections and then pressed together, a process that results in Blank having the so-called Saturn's ring and a pole. During the subsequent flashing procedure, both the Saturn's ring and the pole are removed to create a round shape. The balls are evenly ground several times. Now they are ready for the next station, the hardening furnace. Hardening is important to give the balls the necessary durability so they will be able to withstand the pressure in the bearing later on. Next, the rolling elements go into the annealing furnace and into the quenching bath. The finishing process consists of hard grinding and high precision grinding, a process that is also known as lapping. Finally, the steel balls are washed. Time and time again, the balls are measured to ensure supreme roundness and roughness characteristics. This is done under the microscope in special measuring rooms, such as here in Elpman. Ultimately, the balls are packed and prepared for shipping. Sophisticated components for the global market. The production of steel balls is a good example of the Scheffler Group's comprehensive systems and manufacturing expertise.